Hey YouTube, this is Mark from Freedom Gorilla. Today we're going to review the Holosun Red Dot Pistol lineup with the RMR footprint. We'll cover the 407C, 507C, 508T, and 509T, the features and performances of each site, and help you decide which one is the best fit for your needs. So let's get started. First, let's discuss the RMR footprint and what type of pistol it's meant for. The term footprint refers to the mounting pattern at the bottom of the site. This specific footprint is referring to the Trijicon RMR Optic, which has made this footprint pattern become very popular. The RMR footprint consists of two holes for the screws and two sockets in which the pins on the mount fit. This footprint is for full-size and compact pistols. I'm going to start with the most affordable of the RMR Optic lineup, then go to the most expensive. So first, let's talk about the C-Series. The 407C and 507C are nearly identical. Literally the only thing that is different about them is the reticle. The 407C has a 2 MOA dot only, while the 507C has Holosun's multi-reticle system. The multi-reticle system has three reticle options, starting with a 32 MOA ring and a 2 MOA dot. Then it goes to a 2 MOA dot only, followed by a 32 MOA ring only. I have the 507C on my Glock 17, and personally I like the 32 MOA ring only, but it's totally up to personal preference. Aside from the reticle, all other features and dimensions of the sights are exactly the same. Both have the option to come in red or green. They're made of 775 T6 aluminum. They have shake awake technology. They have solar failsafe, 12 brightness settings with a battery life of 50,000 hours. They're the same window size and then they're the same weight. Literally the only difference is the reticle, which obviously affects the price. The 407C is about $60 cheaper than the 507C. So one step up from the C series is the 508T. The main difference between the 407 and 507C and the 508T is the 508T has a titanium housing instead of aluminum. Having a titanium housing helps increase the overall durability and toughness of the sights and makes an extremely robust optic that is still lightweight. The 508T has very similar dimensions. It does weigh 0.5 ounces more than the C series though. That's not noticeable to me, but something to take into consideration. Uh, more importantly though, the 508T has a better window in my opinion. It's roughly the same size as the C-Series, but the C-Series has a very curved window, whereas the 508T has more of a flat top, more like the K-Series. And aside from that, the 508T has all the same features as the C-Series. It has shake awake, it has the multi-radical system, solar fail safe, comes in red and green, 12 brightness settings with long battery life. So really it comes down to if you want a more durable optic with a flatter top window, then the 508T is for you. The last Holosun RMR pistol optic in the lineup is the 509T. There are some big differences between this one and the others. The 509T is an enclosed emitter optic, whereas the others are open emitters. Essentially that means the 509T has a hood and an extra lens to prevent rain, snow, or even like lint from blocking the emitter and causing it to not to display the dot properly. A drop of rain on the emitter can cause like your reticle to spatter and starburst, or with no reticle from being blocked, you know, the optic is obviously quite useless, uh, so with an enclosed optic, that's not an issue at all. The 509T has a slightly bigger window than the previous optic and also has a flatter top like the 508T. The installation of the 509T is also very different from the C-Series and the 508T, but it's still not overly complicated to install. The 509T has a clamp at the bottom, and you can use different plates to mount it to different footprints or even a Picatinny rail. The 509T does come with an included RMR adapter plate, but if you wanted to put it on your rifle with a Picatinny adapter, you could, which is a huge plus for this optic. And like the 508T, the 509T has all the same features as the C-Series, which again is the shake away, comes in red or green, has solar fail safe, 12 brightness levels with a battery that can last up to 50,000 hours. So really if you wanted an enclosed emitter with a titanium housing for the ultimate durability and protection, this is your optic. But that also means it's also Holosun's most expensive pistol optic. Overall, the Holosun RMR footprint lineup offers a range of options for shooters. We hope this overview helps you decide which red dot will be the best fit for you. But if you have additional questions, leave a comment below or go to freedomgorilla.com and hit us up on chat or through text. And as always, thanks for watching.